Hi everybody, uh, welcome back. Uh, we're all off out tonight, it's Tanya's 21st birthday. So uh, Nick's going to do my makeup and uh, so we thought we'd record it. So uh, perhaps a slightly different look to ha what I had last time. Okay, let's do it Nick. Just pop a little bit of Ember Elise on. So we've got the moisturiser on. I'm going to start with the eyes because um, the liner that I'm going to use is an eyeshadow, so it might have a little bit of fall down. I'm going to use a little bit of Painterly Paint Pot from MAC with a Louise Young brush. Um, Mum has quite oily lids, so um, I'm using this as a primer just to prime the eyes. I've gone for Painterly because it's slightly pinker and you can see Mum's undertone under to her skin is slightly more yellow. So um, I don't, I'm going to try and counteract that yellow out. Sam used um, colours with a slight more shine, so I'm going to use very matte colours on you. I've got a little bit of brulee from MAC, which I'm going to use first as a base. And I'm using that with a 227 brush. And that's just to hold the um, painterly paint pot into place a little bit more. That's a nice size brush. It's so nice because you get it done really, really quickly. Put your eye on one that. Of those, yes, I knew that was coming. I knew that was I coming. I need one. I don't think you need it. I think you want it. Mm. Okay, next I am going to use a 239 brush from MAC. And I'm going to use a little bit of a slightly purplier tone. I think this is hoax. And that is just going to go through the lash line and pulled up very slightly. My mum's very fortunate with her eye shape um, that it's not too sagging here, should I say. There's not too much drop. Um, however, if we put the colour through the socket, it's, it's still going to look a little bit too dark for what we're going for. So I'm just popping it through the lash line and working the brush upwards. And then I'm going to get a clean 217 brush from MAC which is this brush here and I'm going to use that just above it just to blend it so that there's no harsh lines and then repeat that a few times until we get the colour exactly as we want it. Now would you wear this colour normally Mum? Um, I, no, I haven't ever worn that sort of colour before. So anyway. It's nice because it, brown tones just make your eyes look quite red. Mm. So, using something that's a slightly more, maybe mauve mm, Well, that, that's a good colour on most um, mature ladies, really, isn't it, I think? Yeah, I think so. However, not for me, because I'm only 21. So. Exactly. God, you're younger than me. Mm. Lily thinks I'm 21. Oh, does she? Yeah, she does, bless her. Your youngest daughter is nearly 30. Does that not scare you? No, not really. I think I've been... Scares me! I think I've been absolutely blessed with my children, so... Yeah. Uh, thank you, Mother. No, I'm very lucky. Now, you might see that I, I call my mum Judy quite a bit, because it annoys her. That's mainly the reason, no. She you all think to, it does, but it does not. She but. used to um, say, I'm not your mother, I'm not your mother, I'm too young to be your mother. Call me Judy. So it's just stuck. No, what, what was, was that everyone kept saying, Mum... Mum, and I used to just say, I've changed my name, I've changed my name, I'm not mum anymore. And so that was more why if we kept oh. calling me Judy, it just has stuck. You'll normally find the second eye is much quicker because you know where you're working from. Next I'm going to take a MAC. This is a 263 brush, you can use a 266 as well. And I'm going to use a little bit of sketch, which is slightly darker purple. I'm just going to run that along the lash line. So I'm going to get Mum's eye. If you just look down for me. And just run it along the lash line. You can actually close. It's probably more comfortable for you. So you've got your eyes closed, but half of you actually wants to look and see what you're doing. Oh, well, you so can, Mum. There's a mirror. Can you see in that mirror? Do you want me to angle it so you can no, see better? See. And look down for me. 
So this is just with the angle brush getting pushed along the lash line, same as what we did with the other brush, but it's a slightly finer brush, and then pulled up very softly, so it's hardly noticeable, but just defines the lash line. 217 again, and just blend through that, because I don't want it to look too dark. Now these colours are much matter than the ones that Sam used on her video and that's why I'm doing it because I wanted to show a look that can use matter colours and I do find personally that matte stays on better so it'll be interesting to know which stays on the best. Right, let's get some lash curlers, the bit that you love so very much. Okay, mm. if you look right down for me mum. Still okay? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so I've got the lashes. Now if I want to get a bit of extra curl on them, I'm just going to tilt the lashes and then, I'm, and then release. And it just curls them back a little bit more. I have to say the MAC lash curlers are very good for this because they're very rounded. You'll find a lot of eyelash curlers, this bit square. I don't know why they do that, um, but you want to get rounded ones. You can never seem to get your whole um, lash in them. No, do you think? Or no, you can. Make? just you being wary. Mm, You're just a little bit scared of them. Mm. Right, I am going to use on you, Judy, is um, Makeup Forever Mascara Smoky Lash. You can't have this. I know you're going to want yeah, it. Yeah, because I've heard this is brilliant. And it is I, so good. I don't have it. I know. I'm the only one that has it. Sam said it was, it's, was mine and mm. Sam's because we buy all our makeup together. And uh, she was nice enough to say that I could have it. Let's see how good it is. I've only used it on my lashes. Do you want me to use it from the wand so you can see it with the wand? Yeah, yeah that's fine. Because um, normally on other people, um, we won't. But as you're my mum, I think it's fine. Would you like to share? Just look down for me. A little bit of your own mascara on there. It's weird using a proper mascara on other people because I'm used to using ones. It feels very alien to me. I'm just going to brush it through, Mum. It's a little bit clumpy. I'm going to brush it through with a clean brush. Just look down for me. One thing I always notice when pre people m put mascara on that they I only do one coat and leave it and that's it, which is probably why I never get masses of eyelashes. You know, I think it's totally up to you how you do it, but you know, you probably only put one coat because you're a bit wary of it and because mm. you don't wear much makeup. If you mm. put loads of mascara on, it will look a little bit silly. You've got a lot more makeup on than you don't normally even wear. Mm. Just look down for me. It's funny though, you kind of feel naked without it, don't you? What, without mascara? Well, without makeup on, even though I don't wear much. Um, very rarely do I put face makeup on, but, um, you know, if you've got no makeup on, you do feel a bit, yeah. a bit bare, don't well, you? Well, I think as well, um, most foundations have got an SPF in. They're protecting your skin anyway, so I don't. People go on about how it's bad for your skin. I actually think it's better for your skin to be wearing makeup, as long as it's not heavy and not got too many fillers in. Um, which, is, which is why I normally use slightly more expensive ones. I think it's What's fine. Fillers, then? fillers is um, just look down for me. It's like what they put in just to make things look a slightly thicker texture. Oh, bulk it up. Yeah, I'm going to use Amiga. You can see it from Mac. And I'm going to use my Laura Mercier brow brush. Now, your brows are quite dark here, so you don't need too much, but you need a little bit of filling in just at the very outer side of the brow. You can use a pencil, whatever you prefer. I like eyeshadow because I think it looks very, very soft. I don't like anything that looks too strong. Now this is where I get my brows from, because you've got one slightly different as well. This one arches more Doesn't than it? that one, exactly the same as me. Yeah, I would never have noticed that. That's what makes us unique. Well, brows aren't meant to be 
um, twins, they're meant to be sisters. I think that's what they say. Oh, there you go. They're not meant to be exactly the same because no one's faces are exactly the same. Oh, that's true. Both sides. I'm going to use Chanel Vitalumia. Come on, focus. Um, I'm going to go 40. I think you can carry a 40. If not, I'll mix a little bit of 30 with it as we go. I use a, Laura, a Louise Young big beefy brush to pop this on. Now, you said that your eyes are very oily, the skin isn't so bad. Yeah. So I've not popped the primer on there because what do we have on your eyes? Yeah. So that's fine. Do you like this brush? I do, Nick, but I'm frightened to say I like any more brushes. Why? Because you'll think that I'm trying to take it from you. Yeah, you, this, I know that none of this makeup will be here when you've gone. <laughs> it's like everything, it's, it's, you have to tidy everything away when Mum comes in the room. Because she'll be like, oh, I haven't got that. Why haven't I got that? It's like being a kid in a sweet shop, isn't it? it the, it's all to do also with the, the packaging. It's, um, and you know that we'll give it to you. It's fantastic. Well, you know, what can I say? You've looked after us enough. Yeah. I'm going to pop this on with a brush and then I'm going to use my hands to blend it through because I actually prefer to finish the skin with my hands. This is just to give it kind of an even finish but um, it can look a bit heavy so I just want to blend it through with my fingers just to work it right into the skin. Makes a lot of difference doesn't it putting uh, makeup on it sort of evens out your skin tone. Yeah, totally. yeah it makes a huge difference. Maybe I should wear it. No, I think you're gorgeous, but I think for a night out, I think you've got the best of both worlds because you don't rely on makeup, but then when you go out, you can look even more stunning with a little bit of help. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I think if you try, to, if you wear it all the time, sometimes it can be too much, and people get used to seeing you like that. Mm. And then it's a real shock when they see you without. Yeah, it. exactly. Who is that person? Mm -hmm. So it's much nicer when it's been blended in a little bit with your hand. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, MAC Moisture Cover Concealer. You get quite oily under your eyes as well though, don't you? Okay, I'm not going to pop that under your eyes. Change of plan. Um, I will use a MAC Peach Colour Corrector, which I really like at the moment. Um, it's a bit of a highlighter, because you like to go lighter under your eyes, don't you? My eyes are light underneath. Um, they always seem to look lighter for some reason underneath. So I'm just using a, um, what is this brush, a 224 brush with a little bit of peach colour corrector. Peach colour corrector is great because it, it's obviously got a peachy pinky undertone so any blue under the eyes is going to help to counteract out. There we go, your skin looks nice and even. Mm -hmm. I am going to use a little bit of Chanel powder. This one is Pesh. So this just kind of sets the makeup. It's just going to set the foundation. Um, I would leave the Vitalumia on a little while before you set it because it is so glowing, it will cling a lot of powder to it. Does that make sense? So do you not think then that um, putting powder on goes into any of your lines or is it? I'm using such a fine, fine powder, a loose powder that's so fine that it won't sit into your lines and I'm literally got hardly anything on the brush. When I put it on, I'm tapping off most of it as it goes. So all it's doing is taking away any slightly glowing look. You know, we don't want it to, to look oily. Mm -hmm. What I would say, if you find that it does, don't do it in the areas where you're worried about your lines. Do it around here, down the nose, and on the cheeks, and leave the under eyes. If that's the area that you're finding that it seems to sit in, mm -hmm. leave around the mouth, do the chin do the top of the lip, mm. you know, you don't have to powder the whole thing. So what I'm going to do next is, I'm using a lot of Chanel stuff on you actually, is the Bronze Universal, a little bit of that, <coughs> with a MAC 109, or 109 brush, I am just going to take that on the cheeks a little bit, give you a slight glow. This is a cream as well, so it's going to get rid of, it's going to take away that matte that the powder's left. 
can definitely be used over a powder, it's not a problem to do that. Or you can use it if you haven't powdered. It goes on so beautifully. Put a bit of colour back into you, Jude. Mm -hmm. Next. Now I've got a Makeup Forever cream blush, HD ready one. The colour is 7. It's a little bit pinky, a little bit corally. I'm going to take a really small amount of this on the back of my hand. There's even too much there. I'm just going to pop it onto a brush and just push it through the cheek to give you a slight bit of colour. Same brush as I used before, it's just giving you a little bit of a glow there. Mm. It's all about um, the application of it, isn't it? It's very much about blending, about building, so don't try and think I'm going to save time and put loads on mm. and just work it through. It doesn't work like that. You have to be very slow with it, put a little bit on and then build from there because once you've gone too much, you've had it, you've had it. that's it. You look so young now. Okay, on the lip, I am going to use another Makeup Forever product. You can see we're liking this. This is 1C. I've got to come around this side. I really like these colours. Um, yeah, they're very good. I haven't got these colours. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be yours, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Just pop your lips normal, exactly as you normally would. I can't, I'm smiling. <laughs> I tend to rest my finger here and pull up slightly with my little finger just to make the lips a little bit fuller and then work round with the lipstick. Then we get a little bit of a fuller oh, yeah. finish from it. See how much fuller your lips are? Oh, wow, yeah. Let me zoom in. See if I can zoom into that. It makes the lips oh. look so much fuller, but it's still following your natural lip line. And the reason I've used this liner is because as you get slightly older, your lips get slightly thinner. It's waterproof, so it's not going to come off. And inside, I am going to use uh, Girlina from Bote. Slightly pinky, but it's not overly pinky. You love pinks. Mum loves pink lipstick, even though she wears really light pink, which isn't probably the best colour. Um, you love it. So we're going to use I, it. I'm, I'm trying not to, because Sam said I'm... I'm probably better in the or orangey, more orangey tones. Well it depends um, Mum, I think you're better in the slightly orangey tones if mm -hmm. you've um, if you put foundation on. Oh, right. Because your skin's got so much yellow to it, if you don't put foundation on it can look almost too yellow. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's, it really does depend. I mean the point is even if I had all that everything you used, I just can't apply it the way you apply it anyway. Well, we'll have to do some lessons, won't we, Jude? Until you can. See, that's lovely on you. Mm -hmm. And that's your sort of colour that you'll wear. That's very nice. Okay, let's just go in for the under eye, and then I think we're pretty much there. And you look glam for tonight. That's such a pretty colour. What colour is that? Um, it is called Galena. Mm. You could have a few things missing off your table. Look right up for me, Mum. I'm just using the darker liner. Just pushed slightly. Very softly along this lash line, because I know that you like to do that. So, um... And there's nothing wrong with doing that, to be honest. You know, sometimes it's good to have a change, though. It's just what you, you I always do, isn't it, you know? I'm going to run a tiny bit of mascara under the lashes. Just a small amount to finish it off. Right, the mascara's gone. Have you already taken that? No, there it is. Oh. <laughs> As if. It's like you are a ninja. Got that so quickly. I must have turned my back for a second. Just look right up for me, Mum. Right, you're all fit to go out. Mm. We'll let you hang out with us now, Mum. Oh, thanks. Oh, no, that looks really pretty, Nick. So there you have mm. the mature makeup. And my mum, 
actually doesn't look very mature, she looks very young. I don't know about that, but it's a fast improvement to uh, the first zoom. shot of me. So. Let's zoom right in on the eyes so people can see. And just close those eyes for me, Mum. And there you have it. Thanks, mate. That's lovely. My pleasure. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did and uh, hopefully it's useful to you. Thanks very much. Bye.